Welcome guys. Now I'm going to teach you the pediatric BLS. This is very, very important from your examination point of view and a very important skill that you need from the clinical point of view when you need to save a life, when you need to save a child who is not responding. The BLS as a name stand, basic life support. There is a slight difference between the pediatric BLS and the adult BLS. I will tell you the major difference is how to start the CPR in adults and the pediatric BLS. In adults, we start with the chest compressions, whereas in the pediatric BLS, we start with the rescue breaths. And in the first place, the first action that you need to do when the patient, when the child is not responding, you need to give them five rescue breaths. So keep this in your mind. Why we need to give them five rescue breaths? The reason is very simple. In children, there is a high chance that the patient is not responding because of the problem with the respiratory system. They are not breathing. They might have choked because they, they may have swallowed some toys or any form of body. So they are more prone to develop respiratory problem in comparison to the adult who are more prone to develop the cardiac problem. That's why we start with the chest compressions in adults and we start with the five rescue breaths in pediatric patients. Now, the sequence is very important. If you find any child who is not responding, shout for the help in all directions. It should be loud enough that you can get some help. Then open the mouth of the child, look into the mouth. If you can see any foreign body, Remove that if you can easily access and look for the signs of life, not more than 10 seconds. You need to be looking, listening and feeling at the same time, bend down towards the patient's mouth and try to look for signs of life. Look for the chest wall movement and try to listen the breathing and try to feel the warmth of the breath. This is how we start. We need to start with the five rescue breaths. If the child is not responding, there is no signs of life, give five rescue breaths. Now, based on where you are located, if you are in the hospital, then you provide 15 chest compressions and two rescue breaths. If you are based in the community, you are going to provide them five rescue breaths and 30 chest compressions with the two rescue breaths. And we keep repeating the cycle in the community, the cycle is 30 chest compressions and two rescue breaths. In the hospital, the cycle is 15 chest compressions and two rescue breaths. This is a major difference. You may need to adopt two, both of them, depending upon where you are. And also, if your task is to teach BLS to someone, if this is a medical student, or any nurse colleague or any hospital colleague, then you must teach them 15 to 2. If you are going to provide the training to the parents who are worried about the child and you want to teach them the BLS, then you should provide them the training on 30 to 2, 30 chest compressions and two rescue breaths. And both of them start with the five rescue breaths in the beginning. Now I'm going to show you on the mannequin just to make it simple so that you can understand better. Okay guys, say for example, we have a patient who you found on the floor, not responding, tried to get the response, shake them, hello, 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 no response. Then the next thing that you need to do is shout for the help, 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 help. Look all around, be loud enough, then look into the mouth and try to find if there is any foreign body. Remove it if you can, but make sure that you do not push it down. Then head tilt, chin lift and look, listen and feel for 10 seconds. Try to look for the chest wall movement, listen the breathing sound and feel the warmth of the breath on your cheek. If there is no response, the next action that you need to do is pinch the nose open the mouth wide and give five rescue breaths. Make a tight seal around the lips of the child and give five rescue breaths. Then move onto the chest with the palm of your hand in the lower part of the sternum, put it down. 
interlock your fingers, elbow straight and start chest compressions. Okay, this is all about keep repeating the cycles 15 to 2 in the hospital and 30 to 2 in the community. This is all about it and make sure that you call 2222 in the hospital and 999 in the community. That's all about it. I hope you enjoyed and you learned.